Hi there and welcome to another quick tip. This quick tip is all about 360 degrees video inside of Premiere Pro with use of the Rykel Tita S camera, which is pretty amazing. It gives you a real 360 degrees spherical videos and photos um, on an okay quality. And last week I was happy enough to buy one in New York and I've made two uh, video files which I'm gonna uh, put on my computer with use of the image capture app, uh, which is installed on my computer, on my Mac. Um, so I'm gonna choose for import. You could do this as well with the photos app or any other type of capture software. And when we take a look at the video, let's make a preview. It will show us two spheres which need to be stitched together again into one flattened video. Um, that you can do with the Rykel software which you can find on the website of this company and just drag your video inside of there and it will ask you uh, where to render it to as a flattened stitched video. I'm going to hit start and it will go to the correct folder. Now this video gives you a full 360 degrees control, which is pretty cool and has been saved as a flattened file. Um, we're going to do the same with the other video and that's the other one. There we go. So this is uh, ready for Premiere Pro. So let's dive into Premiere Pro. There we go. And just import your video files. These two, import. And to make a correct sequence, just drag and drop your video file onto the timeline. And uh, this is what a stitched video looks like inside of Premiere Pro. Let's drag in the other one as well. So now we've got two videos inside of Premiere Pro, pretty cool. But you would like to enable the 360 degrees uh, control as well inside of Premiere. So you need to go to the settings option, open up VR video and then hit enable. And that will give you uh, this view, which is absolutely not correct because it, uh, yeah, it goes into a sort of a point over there. Um, so this is not correct video. So we need to go into the settings again, VR video, and then hit settings. And this is not a stereoscopic video, not 3D video, it's 360 degree video. Um, so we need to change it to monoscopic. And in that way it will look correctly. And now it can uh, show you the skyline of New York from the Rockefeller building scene. There we go, and that's me, awesome. And same goes for the second video, of course, on Times Square. There we go, so pretty cool. Um, it's also possible to add in an extra button when you do a lot of 360 degrees editing. Uh, just hit the plus sign over here, and then you can drag the 360 degree workspace over there button and now you've got your uh, 360 toggle inside of your interface. So that's pretty nifty. Now all we need to do is to, uh, to export it as a 360 degree video file. And Creative Cloud 2015.3 can do so. So if you export it via media, it will open up your export options. Of course, we can set it to H264 and then way below. You can tell Premiere Pro that it's a VR video footage. And of course, double check if it's set to monoscopic or whatever option you like. And then hit export. And basically what the uh, VR option is doing, well, it's putting some extra metadata uh, in your video file, which tells, uh, for instance, YouTube, that this media is a virtual reality. So that's 360 degrees video. So now when your export is done, you can go to YouTube and upload your video file. And after your video is uploaded and processed, it will take some time until your, uh, your player sees it as 360 degrees of video inside of uh, yeah, Google Chrome. So don't think that something has gone wrong. It just takes some time on YouTube uh, before it uh, understands it's 360 degrees uh, video. And now you can uh, yeah, play around with it, drag it, 
and take a look around in New York by night from the Rockefeller and from Times Square so pretty cool so really nice camera and really nice uh, slick workflow within Premiere Pro CC 2015.3 bye bye for now and see you again next time in another quick tip